Hi friends, welcome to my very first YouTube class. I am really excited to start this learning journey with all of you. Today we will learn some very important MCQs from 8 standard science which are very useful for TET and as well as for CTET. So do not delay, let's begin the class. The first question, crops sown during the rainy season are called dash. Option A, Rabi crops. Option B, Karif crops. Option C, Z crops. Option D, none of these. And the correct answer is Karif crops. So the answer is option B, that is Karif crops. So let's move to the second question. The duration of the rainy season in India is dash. Option A, June to September. Option B, October, November. Option C, December, February. And option D, March to May. And the correct answer is option A, that is June to September. So let's move to the next question. Which of the following is an example of a Karif crop? Option A, rice. Option B, wheat. Option C, gram. Option D, peas. And the correct answer is rice. Rice is an example for a Karif crop. And the remaining three are examples for Rabi crops. So these wheat, gram, peas are examples for Rabi crops. And the next question is, which of the following is the first step of agriculture? Option A, sowing. Option B, irrigation. Option C, harvesting. Option D, soil preparation. So the answer is soil preparation or preparation of soil. This is the first step of uh, agriculture and the agri we call it as uh, agriculture practices. There are seven steps in agriculture practices. The first step is preparation of soil or soil preparation and the second one is sowing. Third one is adding manure and fertilizer and the fourth one is irrigation and the fifth one is protecting from weeds and sixth one is harvesting and lastly storage these are all are the steps of the agriculture here it is asked the first step of agriculture that is soil preparation so the next question cod liver oil obtained from fish is rich in dash option a vitamin c option b vitamin b option c vitamin d and option d vitamin a and the correct answer is option c vitamin d so the next question is which organism is known as the farmer's friend option a snail option b earthworm option c frog option d dog and the correct answer is earthworm earthworm is called as the farmer's friend because it loosens the soil and increases its fertility that's why artham is called as the farmer's friend so the next question microorganisms or microbes are organisms that dash so option a can be seen with the naked eye option b cannot be seen with the naked eye option c seen from far away option d very large in size and the correct answer is cannot be seen with the naked eyes we can't see the microorganisms with the with our naked eyes so we have to see them through the microscope so microorganisms cannot be seen with the naked eyes the next question diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by dash option a protozoa option b virus option c bacteria option d algae and the correct answer is option a protozoa so protozoa causes dysentery and malaria in that protozoa are single celled organisms that too plasmodium causes the malaria plasmodium so this is the protozoa which causes malaria and entamoeba that is entamoeba is is also one of the protozoa which causes the dysentery so these two are the protozoa which are responsible for the diseases like dysentery and malaria let's move to the next question which of the following diseases are caused by 
bacteria option a typhoid option b tuberculosis option c cold option d a and b both and the correct answer is option d a and b both both typhoid and tuberculosis are caused by bacteria whereas typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi this is a bacteria which is responsible for causing the typhoid so tuberculosis is caused by myo mycobacterium tuberculosis so these are the two bacteria which causes typhoid and tuberculosis let's move to the next question which of the following diseases are caused by viruses option a cold option b influenza option c measles option d all of this and the correct answer is option d all of this because all three diseases are caused by viruses only so option d is the correct answer let's move to the next question which bacteria convert milk into curd so option a lactobacillus option b yeast option c clostridium titani option d enter enterobacteria and the correct answer is option a that is lactobacillus this bacteria is converts the milk into curd so the option a is the correct answer let's move to the next question yeast is used in the preparation of dash option a bread option b cake option c wine option d all of this and the correct answer is option d all of this in all these preparation we we use yeast so the correct answer is all of the above so let's move to the next question the process in which sugar is converted into alcohol is called dash option a searching option b fermentation option c pasteurization option d evaporation so the op correct answer is option b fermentation who discovered fermentation in 1857 option a alexander fleming option d edward jenner option c louis pasteur option d isaac newton and the correct answer is option c louis pasteur he discovered the fermentation in 1857 so let's move to the next question who discovered penicillin option a edward jenner option b louis pasteur option c alexander fleming option d galileo galilei and the correct answer is option c alexander fleming he discovered the penicillin penicillin is obtained from dash option a algae option b fungus option c virus option d protozoa and the correct answer is option b fungus so penicillin is obtained from fungus option b is the correct answer the next question is who discovered the vaccine for smallpox option a edward jenner option b alexander fleming option c louis pasteur option d aryabhata and the correct answer is option a that is edward jenner he discovered the vaccine for smallpox option a is the correct answer let's move to the next question which of the following helps fix nitrogen in soil option a lactobacillus option b pseudomonas option c cyanobacteria option d none of this and the correct answer is option c cyanobacteria which helps to fix nitrogen in soil option c is the correct answer let's move to the next question dengue fever is caused by which mosquito option a female anopheles option b male anopheles option c male aedes and option d female aedes and the correct answer is option d that is female aedes so this is the mosquito which causes dengue fever in humans so option d is the correct answer let's move to the next question malaria is caused by the bite of a dash mosquito option a female anopheles option b male aedes option c female culex option d male culex and the correct answer is option a female anopheles 
this mosquito causes the malaria let's move to the next question foot and mouth disease affects dash option a birds option b animals option c humans option d insects and the correct answer is option b animals especially the catters which suffers from the foot and mouth disease so let's move to the next question foot and mouth disease is caused by a dash option a fungus option b bacterium option c virus option d algae and the correct answer is option c virus so foot and mouth disease is caused by a virus option c is the correct answer let's move to the next question who discovered the anthrax causing bacteria bacillus anthracis option a robert koch option b louis pasteur option c edward jenner option d alexander fleming and the correct answer is option a robert koch he discovered the anthrax causing bacteria bacillus anthracis so option a is the correct answer let's move to the next question anthrax is a disease that affects dash option a only humans option b only animals option c both humans and animals option d only birds and the correct answer is option c both humans and animals option c is the correct answer so pasteurization was discovered by dash option a robert koch option b robert brown option c louis pasteur option d edward jenner and the correct answer is option c louis pasteur he discovered the pasteurization here pasteurization is nothing but heating milk to kill harmful microbes and then cooling it quickly so this keeps milk safe for longer so this is nothing but the pasteurization so this is all about today's class thank you so much for watching my first youtube class if you found this useful please like and share in the next class we will continue more mcqs and explanation from the next chapter see you soon thank you